Hey, Ross Dragon Metals here. Today I will be painting the all important Planetary Empire's spaceport airport tile. It's a single sided piece, which is a fortress on a plateau of some kind. I will be painting this in the same colour palette as usual. It will actually look something like this one here, which is the same sort of thing, and I will be painting it quite similar to that also. Except I'm going to add some metal, probably on these eagles. You can see there, and they are all going very nicely with the ones that I've done in the last few videos. I'll be taking a break from the Planetary Empires next, as I will be painting some of these Sector Mechanicus things as a massive boiler. That's at stage two, it's been dry brushed with metal colors. So let's paint this up. Planetary Empire spaceport tile. Single piece. So, same as last time. Last video. Three different shades of green. So the foresty bits. Oh, lucky bunny rabbit. Check my last video if you want to see her. Should be time to check her out after I'm done. He's busy having a munch on some fruit bread. She's never tried that before. I thought she might like it. She hasn't tried it yet. Oh. Next green, a lighter shade of green in the palette in now. This is just for thinning down some of the paint. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nor does it have to be that thick. Put a little bit more on there, however. I'll do nicely. Next I'm going to do the browns. Actually I should put some different green on that also. Nice. Two little patches of forest. Or at least it will be. <laughs> Fair enough. Next. Mud brown. Same palette as usual. Doesn't matter if this brown goes on quite thick. In fact, I intend that. Get a good dry brush all around the fortress as well. It's actually a spaceport tile in Warhammer terms. I suppose you could use it as just a plain old fortress if you're using some sort of other more. Recent game rules, as it can be hard to get battlefield gothic models, which are like spaceships and stuff these days. So quite expensive and rare, and out of production just like these. But people have been doing things like three D printing them, although they don't look quite as good. All sort of rock structures around the airstrip itself. I'm going to try and get all in them gaps. I suppose this will be a desert, agricultural desert base. By the size of like a ruined town or a gorge of canyons like the one I painted here last time. This base would be absolutely massive. It would be gigantic. In game terms. 
So definitely the prime piece of the game, I guess. Unless you have a Hive City tile, which is like super rare and very out of production, much like all the others. Actually, next, first layer of the fortress, which okay. you need a dark grey to begin with, I should think. That bit I don't actually need to do because I was going to do that a bit green, actually. Just need around the edges of that. Dry brushing again, as you can see. Contrasts very nicely with the desert colour, as we've seen with the other tiles. So I'm repeating that. My name is Dog has awoken. It's probably me. Disturbing the dog. Naughty dog. <laughs> Why couldn't they have got a bunny rabbit? Bunny rabbits are so much little more lovely. They look after you and stuff. Very, very intelligent. Shouldn't be kept in cages. Be surprised how intelligent they are. Freak you out sometimes. You're like, whoa, that was clever. <laughs> that, that's my opinion of bunny rabbits. Ooh, that's clever. You always like doing stuff that makes you think that. Their brains might be small, but they're very clever about how they use them. Bunnies. Mm, next colour. Dry brush that top green. This one and some of these workings. Catch it along some of the edges, that thing. So I sort of want to single this bit piece out. That eagle I'm going to do metal, which will require a fine detail brush, no doubt. More of that olive green colour. It's just standard military olive green. Like um, the colour of fatigues and things. Do these whatevers, strange protuberances, dock docks of some sort. Terminals, that would be a, they'd be terminals. Still got a dry brush for that, repeatedly other greys. Um, desert colour next. First of the desert colours. this stuff and the tile isn't as big as the usual tiles. Due to it being single sided. But the base is on a small hill so or plateau or whatever. Dry brushing away here. I'm 
That is, I haven't mixed any water into any of this paint. And it is quite dry. So I'm laying it dry here on the palette. In order to make it dry as I'm going. This is looking more like a desert fortress as, as I keep building up layers. Which is cool. Coming along a bit better. The rim also needs to be painted. Right, the base dry brush next with a lighter grey. We'll actually use a purpose built paint for that. That stony colour that I used last time on the other tiles. has a daft name as you make that I buy. It's a semi expensive paint this stuff. As you can see it just sort of picks out a lot of the details as you dry brush across it. But it also leaves a little bit of shading. Leave a little bit more of that. Yes, doggy. We can hear you. <laughs> it's a sort of warm night out, so I assume the young has put them out, put a herd out. The dogs are here. Okay, dry brushing is coming along nicely. Try and avoid some of the roof that I painted green. I will be dry brushed again and even lighter green. Just picking up the details as I go, as you can see. While rotating both brush and tile. actually get through these quite quickly considering it's just black plastic actually grey underneath that has been base coated spray well actually it may have been brush base coated yeah this was brush base coated using black paint so coming along a bit better there building up the layers bit at a time Focus. Damn it. Having focusing issues there. Come on. Ah, there we go. Still a bit wet. As the paint dries, it more matches the colours that are on the other tiles. Colour would be next. Hmm. Well, I have, still have more desert colours to go, but that would be the final layer. So, next layer of green, which would be this one. Getting dry brushed over the top. Don't want much of this as it's quite bright. And even less of the next sort of green, which is a grass sort of green. Because that'll be insanely green. See, that's a bit watery. Don't know why that is. Must be some water in the palette. Yeah, I, I hit a water droplet. Typical. Let's 
Wipe that off, get some dry stuff. Uh -huh. Water droplet in the palette, must have been from an earlier painting. That being yesterday. There's flicks of green upon this. Sort of like a messy highlight. There will be another one over the top of that also. Almost a wash, as it's quite watery. Yeah, I'd call that a wash. Metal bits have yet to be done, which is these eagles. Probably do them last. They require very slight movements, and I may need to dry brush or no, I should be able to do it if I dry brush over very, very carefully. That is a tiny, tiny eagle there. Aquilas, the two-headed eagle. The Aquila. Where's that metal cover? The gun metal. That is actually named what it actually looks like. Unlike the other paints, which is named Beard Grey. Which is ridiculous. Because it's not what it looks like. It looks like that cliffs of Dover clay, if you ask me. I suppose it's more multinational sounding though, using them sort of names, but not never been a fan. So the brightest highlight now, it's still quite a long there. Uh, oof. It's extremely white. It's okay though. It's long beard grey. Very, very grey. This is a concrete after all. It's actually picking out that Aquila very, very nicely with that dry brush. Ooh, bunny rabbit's getting me. Wondering what's going on. <laughs> Need to get a lot of the gaps filled and painted with this dry brush, as well as some of the fortress around it, some of the hill. You can get getting by the rabbit lucky. Show at the end of the video. If he's still underneath me, which probably will be. Fleck of paint there, don't want that. It's gone. Good. No, nope, it's not. Now it is. <laughs> There's still not enough paint on this brush. Careful around this green bit that I just painted. Don't want to get any of this extremely white grey off on it. Just one slight highlight towards the inner thing. We'll likely highlight that again, an even brighter green. Although this is a military installation, clearly. Right, there's loads on this side. Well, oh, way too much on that brush, however. It's better. Almost perfect amount on that brush. Nice. Picking out all the corners very nicely. 
the brighter highlight in colour. As you can see, it highlights all the edges. Check a bit more on that edge. Uh, very nice. Choose a bit more on that side of the fortress and on the top, right here around the main spaceport bit, the, I guess you call it the command bit, command dome, which I've painted green. Damn it, some of that concrete colour hit it, doesn't matter. Little bit's okay. Not too much. Missed a bit of hill by there. Some of the desert colour showing underneath is actually okay. Happy with that. Let's do some more greens though. Do with a dark wash maybe over it. May or may not do that. Green. Oh, that's very, very watery, that. Very. Grassy green. Almost a wash of this grassy green. Sort of strange contrast going on between that. A bit bright, if you'd ask me. Might wash it, as I said. See what it looks like when I paint these eagles. Now I haven't actually put the final desert colour on yet. I think I'll do that. Maybe it'll look better, probably will. Sort of a brighter deserty colour, sand, sandy colours. a little bit cooler looking. I'm going to see if I can get some of that sand on the base edges. Sort of look like weathering, like it's been hit by sandstorms and stuff. Yeah, that's looking neat. Works. 
bit lower up on the superstructure. <laughs> Sun blasted on the edges. Good multiple color mix here going on. So we get a little bit more of what's left of that off the palette. A tiny bit on this runway to come off. Fair enough. Sanding it up nicely. There you go, that looks a bit more deserty. Sand beaten. Right, metal, detail brush. A minuscule amount of this. There we go. Don't waste much of it. Paint after all costs. Dry brush this over the eagle very, very carefully. Make sure to get both heads of the aquila. There is a two-headed bird thing. I'll have to do some dry brushing around that. A bit of spillage. It's like a mop that up. Yes, I can. The brush is nice and spongy. There's Lily. Where's the where's path? Yeah. So much paint on the palette, hard to see where it is. Right. Bigger eagle on the runway now. Hit this at an angle. Catch and paint nicely. Very, very small eagle, as you can see. The tile, the whole tile is 40 millimeters. So you can see how small that I'm painting. It's very, very wee indeed. Small, very small. Eagles, Quilla Eagles done. On the desert blasted base. My brush back. So let's do the rim colour next. Always looks better when the rim's painted for con contrast. Gives the whole thing a finished sort of feel. I've just got to sort of glop this on. This is sort of like bleached sand, or washed sand, so the kind you get for making Warhammer War Games stuff. Parasite free sand, that stuff. Which is always better. You don't want creepy crawlies and stuff inside of your sand, ideally. Sand fleas, for example. And things on the beach that make you itch. Nasty. 
don't really need to do the bottom of the tile. May do that. Uses a lot of paint painting over black with such a bright colour. But it is the preferred undercoating colour of these tiles. Might as well do the underside. So it has at least a more completed feel. Still got to do the rim in black also. Didn't manage that in the last video as I literally run out by minutes. Run out of memory that is on my phone. Uses a mad amount of memory for these videos. Be several gigabytes. <laughs> and then by the time YouTube gets hold of them. It's megabytes, so definitely compressing my videos and reducing the frames and bit rate and so on. To make my videos not as good as they actually are. But you'll get that with a third party host, so YouTube's one of the best, I guess. Regardless. Has been around a long time. Done all the inside edges there. These pots don't ever stay open properly. There's like a sort of lip on them that closes. So if you spit it, you've got a couple of seconds to save the paint. While that does work, it makes them harder to open the pot. Right, back to the rim and the sides. Just dried a bit. As you can see, it takes a couple of layers to get good coverage since the black undercoat underneath is. Not a good surface to paint such a bright colour on, it'd be better on yellow or some such. But then I would have had to undercoat the entire tile yellow. Oh, waste extra time taping and painting an additional colour onto it, or spraying another colour onto it, and therefore buying another can. So. Best to just go with the one colour for base coating. If you're doing bright models, do white or yellow. And if you're doing darker models with a mixture, just use black. That hole there is actually for a banner flag, like a faction flag, for whatever side is winning or whatever. Alternative E is for a sort of fortress or a power generator or a barracks, things like that. As I said, this building would be absolutely gigantic. Be an airport the size of a city. Spaceport the size of a city. So it would be very big indeed. Bit of fluff there off the bunny. So it's looking quite nice now. Once I get the black rim done on that, it will be finished. 
actually taken quite a bit of time, this longer than I suspected. <coughs> but I did add an extra bit of weather into it. Mm. So, matte black. What the colour is actually looks like and what it's called. As opposed to the others, they all have silly names. Fantasy names. Like Dune Sands and Avian Green. Plague Green, things like that. That's the kind of names that they have. The dog's quite loud. Well, my music has stopped. Uh, background music on. As you can see, I'm doing the inner black, inner rim black. A little bit of spillage there. Doesn't matter too much if you do that, as uh, there's water in if you use a little bit of watery paint. Concentrating here, trying not to slip. Hence my silence. See the point? Slippage. Now I've got to go over that rim a little bit again now. Damn it. Very, very small painting. As you can see. And I'm adding a dark colour back to the light. So it can be quite tricky. And I don't want to spill it or hit something that's already been painted. Quite a low lip to that also. Last rim. Last few faces, rather. Because it's a hexagon. Oh, the music is still on. It's just gone weird and quiet. What the hell? There was a bit of paint on that. Chunk. Paint. Damn it. Messy on the rim there. Spilt a bit. Uh, flicked a bit. I'm painting on a very bright colour. After all. Okay, that'll do nicely. I'll touch up the edges with the original colour of base material now. Let me take a second and then it'll be done. Tile is done anyway, so. No, that's the wrong shade. Damn it. What shade was I using? Isn't that the right one? No, there it is. I nearly put the wrong colour on there. Oof. the right one. Anyway, the tile is completed. There's the spaceport tile. Just 
planetary empires. Check the thumbnail and my daka daka for more images. Thousands, in fact. About one, about one half thousand images. Stuff I've painted previously. Desert spaceport toil. Could be better lighting for it. <laughs> but I will take better images for the thumbnail. And combine it with the other tiles as it should be.